All right, welcome back guys. This is Indoor Carnivores. Uh, today's video is gonna be a little different. This video is going to be a species spotlight. In this case, it's not really a species, it's a hybrid. Um, and this was requested by someone on my last video uh, asking if I could do one on my Loei cross campanulata that I got here from Saraceni Northwest. It's the one you see with the white mounds of exudit on the lid here. Uh, and to the right of it is Spectabilis Savior, which maybe that will be for a different video. But um, the person requested this because I believe they just got it and they wanted to know the conditions I've kept it in alongside, um, you know, how much it's grown for me and how long I've had it. Um, so uh, they actually requested I take it out of my terrarium to kind of showcase it a bit. But if you can see, there's so much entanglement with all the tendrils other leaves growing underneath it that it would just be sort of a pain to try and unravel and then put back in without breaking anything um so um that's why it's still going to be in here so sorry about that um you can see my fogger just kicked on right here um but uh so let's jump into this i believe i've had this plant for almost two three years now uh, initially when i got it it came in this small four inch pot um from saracen northwest and um, this is probably when I started getting into Nepenthes pretty heavily. I was trying to get like the coolest, biggest looking pictures. Obviously at the time I wasn't spending a lot of money. So I think at the time, maybe this plant was a hundred something bucks, um, which obviously is still a lot for a first time plant. But you know, at the time I wanted bigger, better pictures. Um, and so I was growing it in lower humidity conditions on a shelf underneath these grow lights here which they're still in use you can see they're very bright um and i can link those in the description below um and it was doing all right you know it was picturing here and there almost every leaf uh, maybe one or two leaves maybe one or two leaves didn't um but um at the time i didn't really know too much about nepenthes so it um you know, it was a little slow growing at first, obviously acclimation and things like that. Um, but as I started to learn more things about Nepenthes, I learned that um, fertilization is one of the things, fertilization is one of the biggest things that you need to kind of promote big growth in Nepenthes. So um, I initially started with, um, you know, these freeze dried blood worms. Um, they did all right, nothing crazy. And then maybe a year, year or two later, I swapped to the Osmocote pellets, which have increased the growth on this thing like crazy. Um, I've already done a video on that, so I'll link it down below. But um, this plant itself is fairly easy. It's a low EI cross campanulata, which may scare some people away because it has low EI in it. But this plant is very vigorous due to, due to the fact that it's a hybrid and can grow in almost highland intermediate conditions definitely would not try lowland with this um just because it has that low ei in it so that would definitely stunt it um it's a lot more tolerable of low humidity like i said i was i was picturing it in maybe 40 50 percent humidity obviously now it's probably lingering around the 60 percent mark of humidity um but uh it seems to still be going you can see back here there's a tendril and uh that's probably going to pop onto one here and just recently uh, if you notice in my last video, I had a massive pitcher jump. It's hard to tell on camera, but this pitcher is probably about eight inches from the bottom to the top. And this was the last pitcher it had put out back there. And now one of the now one of the key factors of this one, or one of the things that kind of makes this cool, is the fact that it produce, produces exudent just like um, its its parent plant, Loei. And um, you know, one of the commenter who requested this species spotlight. Um, talked about me tasting it. Now, um, I'm not gonna deny or confirm that I have tasted exit it, but I will say I'm not gonna be trying it on camera. Um, but you can see here, there's tons and tons of it. And I'll get some on my finger here. It's kind of cold, it's weird. But that is like a sugary laxative. And in the wild, uh, shrews or mice would eat that and they would end up pooping in the pitcher of a low eye. Um, obviously it's not a low eye, but it could still function the same way. Um, but if you were to ever try that, um, that would be some very natural, sweet um, nectar, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it's kind of, you kind of got to wash your hands after touching it because it's actually like touching sugar. Um, but I'll just wipe it on the moss here. Um, but um, yeah, so uh, I eventually the past summer repotted this into a big six inch pot back here and 50-50 
perlite long fiber sphagnum moss um and it obviously took a hit just like repotting any plant um you it doesn't pitcher right away i also broke a tendril off on that one so obviously that messed it up a bit more but you know a few months later it comes back has this massive pitcher jump right here i mean just look at that and i fertilized it so it's starting to put off this tendril back here hoping that goes um and then if you can see let's see if i can get a better shot of this down here it's putting off a basil and it actually has another one back there which there you go it's a very tiny leaf all the way at the bottom there um now uh compared to all the species i've had of nepenthes this is one of the easiest most forgiving ones so i heavily recommend it for a beginner who kind of wants a, a cool species that's tall that can tolerate um different kinds of humidity different kinds of temperatures um i mean you could probably even grow this outside year round if you live in like the san diego, san diego area like i do or maybe florida um just because of that wide range of humidity and temperature that it can tolerate um but if you're inexperienced with nepenthes still a good one to go with just put it on your window seal south facing window and i mean watch it grow obviously make sure you're doing proper watering um you know if you're not comfortable with fertilizing nepenthes there's no you don't have to but heavily recommend it if you want to see massive growth in your plant um and that's what got me to this point i am now there's another one back there that one's always hard to show um but i hopefully that answers anybody's questions about this loei cross campanulata from saracenia northwest um if you want to pick one up, I believe they have them in stock on their website. I think they're discounted right now because they're having some sales. So I think it's probably 120 bucks, maybe 100. Don't quote me on it, but I'm not too sure. I'll link it in the description. Um, Saracen Northwest always has the best packaging. They ship everything potted, so you don't have to worry about getting soil and a new pot. Um, this one, you could probably bag acclimate if you really wanted to, but honestly, it's such a vigorous hybrid that, honestly, I, I never did, and it maybe dropped one or two pictures, but not not a big deal um also for saracen northwest i do have a referral link that'll get you five dollars off um so if you guys want to use that on top of their already uh sale um their, the sale they're already running go ahead and use that um get you five dollars off a uh, five dollar off coupon code to your email and uh, that will definitely you know help out get you help you get one of these awesome plants that um you know, I've been enjoying the past few years, one of the ones that got me into Nepenthes. And um, I believe it's an EP plant, so you can be owning an EP clone or cutting. Um, but yeah, guys, um, that's going to wrap up this uh, species showcase or species spotlight. Not really a species, it's a hybrid, but you get what I'm saying. Um, if you guys have any other further questions about this one, uh, feel free to leave a comment down below. Um, I'll try my best to answer your question. Um, but yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.